this is a slightly better version of the cascading algorithm that I'd come up with before for transferring torque from one of these upper rings down onto the lower rings. So if that ring is spinning as we're looking at it here from below clockwise, we're trying to make it spin this one clockwise as well. So to pull that ring round, here's the lower br bridling cascaded and it's facing towards this uh, upper bridling which is cascaded in the reverse direction and you can see all this will be in tension and it builds in all this that's here in tension and that's going to pull around this trailing set here that cascades outwards onto the ring below it and it's all in tension pulling that all around clockwise as that's going clockwise yeah i guess you'd have you'd end up you'd want to have more points in the end than all that uh, let me experiment oops maybe not quite like that but I guess you get the idea. More, uh, more frills around here. <laughs> I'll come back to that later. Um, so as you break down the the cascading to different levels, you'd uh, yeah break off from more frills around here and lower levels to pull this all around. That looks like it's rotated too far that way, or maybe this isn't enough. And some of the spacings you'd want to work these out a bit more smoothly. And again, I think attractors is probably the way to go to get this to work better possibly some sort of file attacks but uh, I think it's attractors and with the attractors you could model the forces between each point and see where you know where it gets pulled along to the next one where that's most efficient to, to place the brand